Hey guys, what's up? Red Net Gamer here. Welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 15. Let's not let's play. Yeah. Mod Spotlight. What is wrong with the trees? Okay, looks like I already have mod conflict. Or not? I already think I know what's going on with that. Anyway. So we're back here on Westbridge Hills on our little mod testing map. And today we have a mosh pit, if you will, of everything. Or a, basically one of everything. So let's get into it. We have first off in tractors. It's going to take a while because I have a crap ton of mods. <clears throat> First we have the Case IH Magnum 380. This one is different from this one. I never show showcased this one because all in all, it wasn't that great. It's it's basic for FS13. It's converted from there. But this one actually got the gold standard on FSUK. It's $298,000 to buy, $350 a day to keep to maintain it <clears throat> and it has 455 horsepower and you can rent it for $993 but we're gonna go ahead and buy it now this confused me at first I'm like it's a case why would I want to change the color but you're actually changing the rim color <clears throat> so we'll just go default white because I think it looks better on it okay and then we have a little conversion, the Farmo 1206 recently came out as a conversion for $28,499 to buy, $180 a day, and 130 horsepower. Let's go ahead and buy it. So it's a rough conversion, or it's, it's a conversion, and that's all it is. There's no special things to it. These fence will do in a later stage. We had the Big Bud seven four seven four three hundred thousand dollars. I'm rounding, okay. To maintain this bad boy, it's six hundred twenty-one dollars a day, and it has nine hundred horsepower. So let's go ahead and buy it. Come on, there you are. And I think that is it. We's doing the John Deere's later. All right, that's it for tractors and harvesters <clears throat> we have the John Deere S690i if you remember I never spotlighted this but you may have seen it the S680 demo has a weird uh, straw swath texture it's like 10 feet behind it so we're gonna go ahead and buy this this is modified I wanna say I've seen it pictures of it from Linda BJ or Linda JB I can never get his name right I know it's something along those lines I just can never get it right anyway it recently came out for and it's three hundred seventy thousand dollars to buy four hundred fifty dollars a day to maintain it we got extra fruits here we got soybean or oats and soybean. It has 570 horsepower and the capacity is 50,000 liters. That's that's a big bin, and you'll see why it's 50,000 liters here in a second. He did something pretty cool with the top, and we have the header for that. Is this one? And buy it. The John Deere 635FD. 19,600 to buy $5 a day to maintain and it is 11.5 meters wide he was going to put something but I guess he forgot and that is it there's no corn head it's kind of a shame under trucks <clears throat> we have the Kenworth dump truck for $6,000 oh, I accidentally bought it $6,000 to buy, already pretty cheap. 
my phone just went off. Maintenance a day is twenty dollars a day. A thousand horsepower and it holds eighty thousand. Yeah, eighty thousand liters. And holds basically everything, even fertilizer. So let's go. Oh yeah, we just bought it. Then we have the Peterbilt version of it, the Peterbilt 384 for sixty thousand dollars, all the same, except for the price. And buy. And I believe that is all I wanted to cover, unless there's something hiding in misc. Not today. All right. Awesome. Wow. That's a lot of uh, stuff to get to. First off, here is the case. 380 Magnum. Beautiful mod. I can't clip through the tires, which is a normal problem. We can basically walk up these stairs. Okay, maybe we can't. We can walk up the gas tank, it's just not the stairs. All right. Awesome. Three point. Looks awesome. You've got one of these hitches for your normal trailers. I know that was a problem with the in game Magnum and FS13. You couldn't haul, like, uh. I'll show you. I'll show you what you couldn't haul. You couldn't haul trailers like this that had this pin hitch on it. That was a pretty annoying problem. But it looks like this one should be able to with this. The three point itself, let's get some light on it, looks amazing. If I do say so myself. What is with the frame jumps? It has to be it has to be one of those mods. You got any conflicts? Oh yep. Yeah. From the Peterbilt and the auto combine, that's normal. The uh oh. Yeah, I got quite a few errors. Mainly with the Camworth and the Peter built dump trucks. That's a shame. Let's go ahead and hop in the Magnum. Not gonna move my camera too much, but I will give you 360 because of drive control. I have to turn off how it saves the um, camera view. But it's sitting pretty nice in there. All right. All in all, pretty nice texture. Let's go ahead and start it up. There it is. So it takes a while for the engine setup to actually come in. That may or may not be realistic. I'm not that smart in it. Alright. Beacons. Yep. Blinkers. Awesome. No IC, but it's still a pretty nice cab. Oh. That's a pretty beefy sound. Oh, look at the black smoke. That's my favorite part right there. A little slidey. Jazz is a little better with all thing, all drive control things off, but I'll turn that off because not all all you might have drive control. We're doing 30, which is about what it says it will do. You can turn pretty fast. You just do a little sliding afterwards. That's all right. All in all, pretty good mod. Can't complain. Has that? Has that rev up whenever you step on it? So you can't complain about that. Pretty nice. Then we have the 1206 turbo. As for a conversion, we gotta keep that in mind because it is a conversion. So gotta be a little less harsh with it. You can't walk through anything. Three point looks pretty good. Yeah, you can really just only walk over. Excuse me, really. Let's go ahead and start it up. Sounds like it did in FS13. Ooh. Already, it feels like it uh, accelerates a bit smoother than it did in FS13. Because if I remember correctly, in FS13 it had a little more of a 
stuttering probably when it was accelerating it would jump up by a couple miles an hour at a time instead of just one but it's a nice smooth acceleration I like that drives really well not too much of a sliding action it is a conversion takes wide fast turns really well all right and it actually has the 2013 particle effects which I didn't think was possible in uh, in FS15 but apparently it is hmm gonna shut it off awesome 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 then we have the big bud is 747 we can already rock through the big tire that's actually expected from most mods which makes the magnum even more better only the second one though first one we can't three point pretty massive but it looks quite out of place if you look here it's not even bolted to anything up here I mean, it looks like I'm pretty sure it should be down here yeah three point not the best you can walk between it you can walk through it yep you can walk on it but there's no clipping through it so that's good engine looks pretty nice let's go ahead and hop in it camera is a little low rather it be right about here for default interior it's not inverted I know that was a problem with the 747 and FS 13 we got some sprite sorry Beavis it's not a monster can we got a horn pretty beefy horn interior is not the best but at least they tried I'm gonna start it up Right. Sounds pretty good. I have seen pictures of these in real life. I've seen videos. But I cannot recall if this is what they actually sounded like. But it does 30. As it says it will. <clears throat> Handles pretty nice nothing out of the ordinary with the turns we do slide that has gotten better with the mods recently but I guess I can let it go our guy is sitting pretty weird in there our head is through the roof <laughs> oh can we make it nope you know it's not a terrible mod I would say if there's a V2 coming out, maybe a little beefier engine sound, and maybe some texture updates, because right now it looks like it belongs in FS13 or even FS11 to be honest. Other than that, it works pretty well, I like it. Do we have blinkers? We have no blinkers. Lights work like they should. We got beacons. Yep. All right. Does the farm will have blinkers? I forgot to. Well, I don't think it does anyway. We have a backlight, but it's not working. And the uh, uh, textures for the lights aren't even coming out of the tractor. Oh, we do have a backlight, but it's just not showing. It's kind of annoying. And no blinkers. All right. Then we have the S680, S690i. Looks a little more American than just a uh, I, which it, which normally means European. Let's go ahead and fold it. As you can see, Linda JB. I hope that's the right one. That feels right. Put this big old green tank on here. At least, I think this is what he did. It could just be some other guy. It's possible. It looks pretty good. 
Let's go ahead and fire her up. Alright. We do have an in cab. Man, look at this. So crazy in there. It's simple, but pretty crazy how yeah, I guess it's just the straight up auger. The auger that's just straight up. It's different to me. I've never seen one. Let's go ahead and hook up to our the header. We don't have the ability to operate the feeder house like we did in FS13. And the feeder house, if you don't know, is this part right here. But we do. Looks like we would get it out on the step, but it looks like the bin's in our way, so I guess that's excusable. Alright, let's hook up. Forgot to check, can we clip through here? Just the duels. So far, that's it. Alright. Can walk over something there. Alright. Uh, can we clip through anything on the header? No. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Let's go ahead and cut some wheat with this. With the straw swath on, because that was annoying how it wasn't really connected to the combine in the other version. Can we get out of here? Well, I'm not going to fuss with it, so we're just going to take the long way around. <clears throat> Give us a chance to test its speed also. And see if it has blinkers. It does. Begins. Alright. Let's get it turn around here. How's our boom look? Pretty good. Extends nice and far out. Alright, moment of truth. Do we have a working straw swath texture? Oh man, the auger's even moving everything. We got a wheat texture coming in. And we have a wheat texture, or a swath texture. Sweet. Now, what if we, what is it, period? Comma. It's comma. Now let's go. How's this look? Looks good. A little narrow for what it is, but all right. We got our texture coming out of both of them, actually. Awesome, awesome. Not too bad, not too bad. High worker works. Yep. A little bit of a fast combine, 9 miles an hour. I Personally, I'm probably going to go ahead and go into the XML or the document for this and change that to around 6, make it a little more realistic. But all in all, it's pretty good. We'll just let him do his thing, make sure he works. Now we got the Kenworth. Now for this, yeah, you saw it when I got out. If I have console commands on, so let's press F5. Right here, this yellow box, that means that should be flush with this tire. But it's not. And we got a whole bunch of stuff in front of it, so that's kind of weird. Stops right here. So this yellow right here is where we can't clip through. Like the whole it looks like the whole axle is just not exactly right. It's not like that anywhere else. Well in the back. In the back it's a little weird. Looks like on the top it's a little weird too. Man, that's annoying as all oh, heck. Let's go ahead and hop in. Already you can see the steering wheel is off to the side for some reason. Let's go ahead and but other than that, interior is alright. Go ahead and start it up. It's a bit little bit quiet. But we have X. Oh. 
forgot about this feature. You can actually lift the dump bed up yourself. Pretty nice. And then N for covers. All right. That's kind of a beefy sound. How's the turning radius? It's pretty wide. And when we get stuck on curbs. No, it's the light post because there's a stupid clip box there. I think we've seen enough. Does the Peter Bill have anything else? Probably not. Because they're by the same author, obviously. Yep. F5. Yep. Same thing here. Same exact thing. On the axles, it should look like this. Yeah, the yellow lines are flush with the texture. So that's how it should look like this right here. <sighs> Come on, Mod Alpha, you're killing me. Uh oh. We can walk right on through it. Start it up. Same sound. And I'm sure it has the same function. Yep. Does it turn any better though? Nope. In my opinion, we should have taken that turn and pretty much T boned the Kroger trailer right there. Right in the middle. I think we should have turned and just hit it right about here. I think that would have been a good turning radius. Beacons. Beacons. Well, you are a disappointment. Let's just leave this on a happy note. Man, look at this. Holy cow. Let's end it on a happy note with this guy. The Magnum. Two thumbs up. The Farmel. A thumbs up. And that's only because I know it's in conversion. What was next? The Big Bud. Uh, I'll give a one sideways thumb. It looks alright. It's not terrible. But could definitely use some updates. S680 or 90. Awesome. Two thumbs up. And the dump trucks. Two thumbs down. They suck. Great idea. Love the idea. But this is one of my pet peeves. This is how you get a two, two this is how you get two thumbs down in my in my book. So you screwed up, mod author. If you if you haven't done that, maybe you would have gotten one thumbs up. But you just had to go and screw this up. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Till next time. I'm the Redneck Gamer. See you all in the next video.